Aquarius, come on in, put your feet up, make yourselves at home. My name is Jen Dawson, welcome to Jen TV. All right, Aquarius, I meditated on this one, and the word that came up was tense. All right, see how that goes. Aquarius, tense. What are you tense about? Or is it the tense moment? What's all this tenseness? A little tense in your shoulders? You need a little... Oh, I do. You wanna... You wanna come in and give me a little rub down? I'd, 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 I'd definitely uh, be feeling that one. Anyway, Aquarius. Bear in mind my loves, these are general readings, so it's not going to resonate with all of you, but if it does, take a look in the description box below. There's a link to my Patreon if you want to watch extended videos. There's also a link to my website if you want to book a private reading. You have to come to my website if you want to book a private reading. I only book them that way. I'm not going to be in the comments below or up in your DMs saying, hey, you want a reading? That's not me, that's somebody trying to scam you. You want a legit Gen TV tarot reading then go to gentvtarot.com Aquarius tense used to be tense mm. there's a lot going on here I haven't even got a card out yet but yeah it's tense Oh gosh, you're tired. It's tense. There's a lot of action. There's a lot. There's a lot going. A lot of swords here. There's lots happening. A nice swords here for what you uh, what you need to know right now. Why? It's not working out, but you know it's kind of supposed to. You know this is your person. It's not working out. There's a lot of tension between you. Um, they are they're very hung up on something from the past. I sort of feel like they're not giving an awful lot away about that. They're not being very forward with you about what that is you know it's somebody from their past but they they keep it pretty stung about it you're taking a lot of you're taking a lot of action in the sense that you're trying to make this person feel like they're safe with you and you're you're the right person for them you're courting this person, you're wooing them, and, and you sort of want to know that you're getting something back from that. You feel like this is your person. I don't know, Aquarius, I don't know. There's other options here. Is that for you or for them? They're hung up on someone from their past and they're not being very open about it. This is for you. You have other options. You don't need to be so focused on this one person. They're certainly not as focused on you. You just know that this is your person. Or you think you do. Anything else Aquarius needs to know right now? It's not your person. You think that it is. You feel like you can see a future with them, but as far as I can see, this is ending. You and this person aren't going to work out. There's too many... insurmountable mm. 
What's the word I'm looking for? Insurmountable tasks. Things that you have to do, things that they have to do. Insurmountable problems that are getting in the way and this person's emotions aren't but I feel like they're very blocked towards you hmm. found a little snack there in my little mm. <laughs> you know when you grab a handful of cereal out of the packet <clears throat> yeah I just did that a few minutes ago and there's a little bit left in there <laughs> Yummy. What's that from? There's a song that's got insurmountable tasks in it. I swear, oh, all of these insurmountable tasks that lay before me. All of the first and the death and the last. What is it that lay before me? I know it's Depeche Mode. There was a time when all of my mind was love. Do, 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 I can't remember what the song's called. Love's Not Enough. Love is not enough. Oh my gosh. This is your song. Love is not enough here. It doesn't matter. Love isn't enough because there's too many things in the way. You're gonna be fine. This is you in the position of you. You're gonna be fine. You're gonna be fine. They are gonna feel very nostalgic about this, and you guys might even end up being friends. Let's take a look at this outcome. I know it's just a short reading. It's only been seven minutes, but it sort of feels like it's it's coming to an end. The the. Uh, Outcome is the Seven of Swords in reverse. Let's, let's kind of um, break and free of the tenseness, the mental challenges, the tensions, and uh, taking steps in the right direction, slow, steady steps, moving out of a situation that's made you unhappy. Yeah, you thought this was going to work out. You thought this was your person, but... It's not, and I, as I've got to the end, I feel like I can breathe again. I felt really tired when this reading first began. I'm going to take it into extended in a minute. I'm going to read some oracle cards first. I'm going to take it into extended where I'm going to ask how this person sees you. How do they feel about you? Uh, what do they want to say to you? What are their intentions towards you? And a little bit of guidance from the universe. But let's pull some oracle cards for you. What do this... Oh, hiccups. <laughs> One cornflake. Sweet cornflake. What do you call them? Crunchy nut cornflakes. That's it. It's one of those. One cornflake. Made me feel a bit hiccupy. Release your ex. I think that's them that needs to release their ex, right? The time has come to clear the energy, forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Okay. Okay. There was a time when all of my mind was love. So what's that song? Love's Not Enough by Depeche Mode. Take a look at the lyrics for that. That's your uh, song of the day. Don't let pride get in your way. Okay. Well, your uh, love song of the day is uh, Depeche Mode, Love's Not Enough. If you want to watch the extended, take a look in the description box below. There's a link to my Patreon. You'll find the video there. Thanks for joining me. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Bye!